yeah, I'm officially launching my new book called The Libranos, what the media won't tell you about Justin Trudeau's corruption. The book is meticulously footnoted, proving why Trudeau isn't just wrong, he's dangerous. He's corrupt. He's, well, he's a Libranos. It's like the Sopranos, they really are a criminal organization. If you watch my show regularly, you probably know this. If you rely on the media party for your news, you probably don't. I mean, do you think the CBC state broadcaster would ever tell you the truth about Trudeau? They're too busy sucking up to him. That's Rosemary Barton, who actually filmed herself going on some sort of date with Trudeau. I mean, seriously, is this a reporter who fearlessly holds power to account? Or is she some giggly girl on a Tinder date? It's not just the state broadcaster. Here's Paul Wells of McLean's magazine, which takes millions from Trudeau's in subsidies, posing for a selfie with him. And that woman is Althea Raj. She loves Trudeau too, but she works for a far left website based in the United States called the Huffington Post. They're trying to interfere in our Canadian election to prop up Trudeau, even though they're an American media outlet. Do you, do you think they're going to tell you the truth about him? Not just about his corruption, but about everything. Like Trudeau, the male feminist who sexually assaulted Rose Knight, the young reporter in Creston, B.C. So if you've been watching the CBC and reading a media party newspaper, why don't you get the other side of the story? Go to Amazon.ca, where my book is $14.48 for a paperback, or just $7.50 as an e-book. Or you can also buy the books through our special website, thelebranos.com. You can also buy Lebranos bumper stickers and other gear and even get a special Lebranos lawn sign to stick in front of your house during the election to show everyone what you think. <laughs> get the book now and get one for a liberal friend, too. They need it. Here at Rebel News, we, we tell the other side of the story. Let the CBC write daily love letters to their boss, Trudeau. But if you want to find out the truth that the CBC won't tell you, you've got to get the book. But there's one more reason I'd ask you to buy the book now. You see, there are two pro-Trudeau books that have just been published by the media party. One is by John Iveson, Trudeau's main man at Post Media. The liberals know that if they have propaganda or gossip that they want to launder in the media, they give it to Iveson, and he publishes anything for them. His book is the same. It's a campaign tool designed to get Trudeau reelected. There are a few gentle criticisms in there, but it's play fighting. The purpose of Iveson's book is obvious to me, to get Trudeau reelected and to keep Trudeau's friendship so Trudeau will continue giving Iveson little scraps of news tidbits. That's gross, but it's nothing compared to the other Trudeau book that just came out. I'm talking about this propaganda book by a liberal named Aaron Wary, who is embedded at Trudeau's CBC State Broadcaster. Wary is so gross, he's the CBC reporter who was sent on an international trip with Trudeau to literally write stories about Trudeau's socks. I'm not kidding. I know you think I'm kidding, but look, here is one of the sock stories that Aaron Wary specializes in. The CBC was writing about how, how awesome his socks were, and now that same hack has written a book about Trudeau to help carry Trudeau across the finish line of this election. So, Here's what I'd like you to do as a personal favor to me. See, the media party has instructions. Don't talk about my book. Don't even criticize it. Don't even give my book an awful review because they don't want any Canadians to even know about my book. Now, I've written several best-selling books before. My book, Shakedown, was voted by Canadians as the best Canadian political book in 25 years. My book, Ethical Oil, won the National Business Book of the Year in a juried competition. My books were widely reviewed and generally quite positively, but ever since Trudeau came prime minister, that stopped. It's just too risky for journalists to give any oxygen to me or the rebel while they're on Trudeau's payroll. So I need your help, and here's how you can help. If you buy my book, either the paperback or the ebook, which is just $7.50, it'll move up the Amazon bestsellers list. Now, last I checked, my book was already the number 11 book in all of Canada on Amazon.ca. And I hadn't even promoted it yet. Whereas Aaron Wary's love letter to Sock Boy isn't even in the top 100. How pitiful is that? He works for the mighty CBC, $1.5 billion of propaganda money, the CBC lavish attention on it, but no actual people want to buy his pro Trudeau crap. Can you help me? Can you help me show the world, show the country, that there are others out there like you and me? Go to Amazon.ca, 
or thelebranos.com and buy the book, and that helps me move the book up the bestsellers list. I genuinely think we can get that book to number one. I want to show we can do that without a review from the Toronto Star or the CBC. I think we want to show that we can have the number one book in the country without a drop of government money or an ounce of establishment help. And you know what? If a book is number one on Amazon.ca, a lot more people will hear about it and see it on that list. People who wouldn't have known about it who need to know the message in the book. That would be a huge personal favor to me, not just because it would feel great to have the number one book in Canada again, but because it would show the media party that they don't have a monopoly on the conversation during this campaign. Thanks for your support. Please go to thelebranos.com. Help me get to number one on the Amazon.ca bestseller list. Please go to thelebranos.com or directly to Amazon.